I'm Robin Ross here with Entertainment Weekly, and I'm so excited to be with the stars of Fuller House right before season two comes back. Welcome. Thank, Thank you. you. You guys just came back from sort of a whirlwind tour. You were just in Japan. Yes. Um, what was the most surprising thing that you heard from your fans um, in other countries? That they, like, Full House is just as much a part of their families and their traditions as it is here. And I think the, the worldwide impact mm -hmm. that this show has had was, to me, just uh, amazing. Mm -hmm. And the Japanese in particular resonated with our show because they said their family culture is very non-traditional, like the Fuller House family culture, in that they are raised by not just mothers and fathers, mm -hmm. but by aunts and uncles and everybody and lives in. Yeah. yeah, everybody yeah. pitches in to, to raise the kids. And I saw you, I think, Instagrammed a photo with the woman who dubs your voice. Yeah, did you get to meet her for the first time? We all got to yeah. meet the voice mm -hmm. actors who played, who did our voices in Japanese, both in the original Full House mm -hmm. almost 30 years ago and in the current Full House. And so House. it's the same people. Yeah, so they yeah. brought cool. back the same people. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Um, and right before that, you were in San Francisco. So your creator <laughs> actually purchased the original house. Yeah. What was it like walking up those sort of iconic stairs for the first time? Was that just like a really great full circle moment for you all? Oh, yeah, it totally was. It was amazing because I, I hadn't been there in, I, I mean, that was my first time, so 30 oh. years. And he had the whole house repainted to look like it did in 1987. Yeah. And it was pretty surreal. The house is nothing like it is on the mm -hmm. show on the inside. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's a little smaller on it's, the inside. Yeah. A lot what we have created on the show is physically <laughs> impossible. To but fit in really, that house. Yeah, yeah. When you walked in, you're like, wow, we would have to be like living on top of each other. But it's real. I mean, it was so fun to finally feel like that last little puzzle piece has like been brought into the into the Full House yes. family. Mm. And we're expecting to have a lot of slumber parties there. Yes. Yes. Ooh, okay, yes. fun. So uh, season two comes back. So DJ kind of pulled a, a Kelly Taylor choosing herself over her two men. Uh -huh. um, talk about what her love life is when you guys pick up. Well, when we come back, DJ is ready to make a decision. Mm -hmm. But both the guys have girlfriends. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So that puts a wrench in her plan. <laughs> mm -hmm. So she kind of made that decision thinking they would wait around and... and yes, and not they so didn't. The they didn't. So now you'll just have to figure out or find out what happens. Okay. <laughs> so talk about Kimmy and Fernando. They're back together. Yeah, divorced and then back together all in the same day. And, mm -hmm. and we had a wedding and I left the altar and we decided to stay engaged and just <laughs> date for a while. But no, Kimmy and Fernando, uh, we get into a lot of hijinks this season. We are yep. like the the Lucy and Desi Arnaz of, of the modern sure. time. And we literally dress as them for Halloween. So it's a <laughs> silly little nod to um, all the physical comedy that we do this season. Mm -hmm. We also get to meet her brother, Kimmy's brother. Yes. yes. And Jody, Stephanie, it seems, takes a liking to him a little bit. Yes, Stephanie, Stephanie takes a liking to him before realizing that he is a gibbler because she hasn't seen him in a really long time. <laughs> and uh, and yeah, Steph winds up dating a gibbler. So it, it's, and it's really fun and you know, it's great for for us to see Stephanie kind of start to settle down a little bit, but mm -hmm. you know, she's kind of conflicted with that. So there's, you know, there's some moments of her really feeling like, ah, it's so much, you know, and mm -hmm. there's some great moments between her and her sister um, that really kind of ground her in her character, mm -hmm. so. How does Kimmy take to that with her brother? And <laughs> She's a little horrified when she walks in on a kiss and she's like, <laughs> You kissed a gibbler, you kissed right? a tanner, which is weird because we actually kissed in the first. That's uh, true. Right. So yes. I shouldn't really be horrified by that. But yeah, Kimmy's a little a little creeped out, but mm -hmm. comes to accept it. Yeah. Um, we're, we're like frenemy sister wives, so. Right. Yes. yes. Part, of the she, <laughs> part of the she pack, if you will. Yes, yes. exactly. <laughs> yes. Um, we got to see you sing a lot uh, in the first season, and it seems like it, that's sort of the direction that Stephanie's headed sort of exploring her singing career. Is that something that came out organically? Are you... Um, do, have you always been a singer, or did they just realize you have talent? Let's show that. I, you know, I have, I, I've, I've sung for a long time, but never in front of anyone. Yeah. Um, but I, you know, I, I went to school for musical theater, and I did voice lessons and stuff all growing up. So I, I have been singing for a while, and Jeff has always been trying to convince me to do it. Uh, and finally, you know, I was like, okay, fine, and I, you know, and I did. And, and then we've really been exploring that more in the seasons. And actually, uh, I sing um, the single Boy Next Door okay. this season, and that also is going to be released on iTunes and Amazon uh, and available to download uh, on December 9th as well. So Amazing. it's crazy. Yeah, I so also great. have like a yeah. song coming out, and I'm like, I didn't really expect yeah. that, but That's it's so awesome. Cool. It's really exciting. 
Um, it seems like we're going to see some more familiar faces this season. I'm particularly excited about Gia coming <laughs> yes, back. I was very um, excited about Gia. Were, were each of you sort of campaigning, like, these are the people I want to come back if we were to have that? Um, and what was it like to, like, take it a step further with you guys had already been reunited, but bring back other familiar faces that you probably haven't worked with in so how many years? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we've we've always talked about who who we love uh, from the past show and who we thought would be great, and then it's always a matter of throwing it out there and seeing who bites. But actually, yeah. a lot we've had a lot of sure, yeah. old guest cast that has asked to be on the show mm -hmm. yeah. this season, and the fans too. Like the fans, you, you know, we we read the Instagram and social media posts and really listen to what it is the mm -hmm. fans are, yeah. are wanting and who they're asking to come back, and then we kind of talk with the writers yeah. too and are like. You know, people would really love to see Gia uh -huh. or Nelson mm -hmm. or Viper. You know, these people yes. come back, and uh, and we try to listen to that. You know, because the fans love that kind of stuff. So we, we did a lot of that this season. Yeah, mm -hmm. and you have new people coming back uh, or coming on the show for the first time. Alan Thick and yes. Lucas on the Block. Yes. Um, tell us how much fun that was. I mean, <laughs> the three of you um, have done quite a few dances on the show before, so I can imagine mm -hmm. like the new kids on the Block coming on was just amazing. Sadly, we had to teach Jody though, because <laughs> she is not as in love with them as Andrea and I are. They, they, they were fantastic. I was like five years heads. too young <laughs> when they were huge. Okay. So they were like 15 and 16, and I was She's like defending nine or ten. <laughs> well, no, because I was like nine or ten. I, and I was like, I don't get it. And they were like, Oh my god. So yeah, it was like, you know, that was their Different childhood. generation. But yeah, I, we had like instinct. Who was, I was gonna say, who was your generation, generation yeah. that you'd want to come to? Yeah. We'll have to get those. We'll have to get Justin. You're welcome to come yeah. on for anytime. Help. Anytime. Yeah. Just saying. Yeah. Mm. Um, so, is there any specific episode that you guys are really excited for fans to see this season, or sort of a moment that you think, like, everyone is really gonna love that? Oh my God, there's so many. There so really are. Many. We think season two is fantastic and super funny. We think everyone's going to love it. I mean, yeah. New Kids on the Block episode was my favorite. Sure. To the Halloween to episode do. is pretty epic. I mean, the, the yeah. costumes and like the extent that, that, that we did all of that stuff was pretty awesome. And so is the Christmas episode. Yes. Andrea yes. steals the show in well, the Christmas episode it's and it is amazing. hilarious. And that one's directed by Dave Coulier. Yeah. And I got to see the Thanksgiving episode. So lots of family episodes. Yeah. 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 So the, the, the wedding episode that, that DJ wedding, and Stephanie yes. go, like that's I think really funny and it a is. really great like sister <laughs> moment. So we crash a wedding. It's yeah. <laughs> as, as sisters usually as do. We do. Yes. If each of you had to give yourself advice going back to when you first started the show, what piece of advice would you love to tell yourself? And similarly, mm. uh, what piece of advice would your characters tell your characters back then? I'd say less neon. That would be my, yeah, less neon colors in the clothing. It's <laughs> just really bright. Less, less, less scrunchies. Less scrun less yeah, scrunchies. less scrunchies. No, no perms. No perms. Oh, yeah, you <laughs> rocked it. You rocked the so serious So fun. Perm. Yeah, I did. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my goodness. Um... I don't know. And, I and don't think about character what? advice? What would, what would yeah. Steph tell the younger What do you Steph? wish, like, young I think Stephanie or, or Kimmy or Kimmy would knew. say stay the same. Like, she would not want yeah. Kimmy to change and... She gets more mature, but true. Mm -hmm. she retains her same quirky qualities. Mm -hmm. I think I would tell Steph to take better guitar lessons because she has to play a lot of guitar. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I know she was all in on the dance lessons, but right, all in on the dance lessons. Yeah, she needs to focus a little more on her guitar playing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, Fuller House returns um, this Friday, December yeah. 9th on Netflix. Yes, too. And thank you guys. I'm so excited to see more episodes. Absolutely. Mm -hmm.